Today we're going to read Aurora and the Diamond Crown. One sunny morning, Aurora awoke in the most cheerful of moods. It was her 17th birthday, and she couldn't wait to see what wonderful surprises were in store. Luckily, she didn't have to wait long. Happy birthday, darling, said the queen. Aurora smiled at her mother. She noticed the queen was wearing an unusual crown. Gleaming at its center was a large pink heart-shaped diamond surrounded by tiny sparkling diamonds. Mother, she cried, what a beautiful crown. Is it new? Actually, replied the queen, it's quite old. And it's the reason that I've come to you so early on this very special day. The queen took Aurora by the hand and led her through the castle to the great portrait hall. It was filled with paintings, each of a young princess wearing a crown, just like the one the queen was wearing. Why, mother, exclaimed Aurora, pointing to the nearest portrait. Is that you? Indeed it is, replied the queen. It was painted on my 17th birthday. You see, Aurora, it's a tradition in our kingdom that on a princess's 17th birthday, this crown is to be passed down to her and worn until the day she herself becomes queen. Oh, mother, Aurora gasped. Is that crown truly to be mine? Well, her mother said with a smile, I certainly hope so. But according to tradition, you must first earn it. How? asked Aurora. By answering three riddles, her mother explained. And just then, the three good fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather, flew in. Happy birthday, princess, said Merryweather. We're here to give you your clues. Yes, happy birthday, Flora and Fauna added. Then the queen kissed Aurora. Think hard, my dear, and good luck. With a wave of their magic wands, the fairies transported themselves and Aurora out to the castle grounds. Then Flora stepped up and recited the first riddle. To the eyes, it's a treat. To the nose, a delight. But beware, to the hand, it can be quite a fright. Though few think to taste it, its sweetness still shows to this first riddle, the answer's a... Hmm, said Aurora when Flora was done. Oh, I know, said Merryweather. Of course you know, scolded Fauna. It's Aurora who has to guess. Do you know what the answer is, dearie? asked Flora. Let's see, said Aurora. To the eyes, it's a treat, so it's pretty. To the nose, a delight, so it smells good. To the hand, quite a fright, so it must hurt, like a thorn on a rose. That's it, isn't it? And she would hurried off to the garden where she picked the biggest rose she can find. Very good, exclaimed Fauna. And now for the second riddle. Some plant it, some steal it, some blow it away. Some even do it several times in a day. Some who are shy might blush getting this. On their hand or their cheek, can you guess? It's a... Well, said Aurora thinking, if 
Some plant it, it might be another flower, a dandelion perhaps. You can blow them away too. But what can you get on your hand or your cheek? She wondered aloud as she gazed into the garden pool. I know, Aurora cried suddenly. It's a kiss, isn't it? Of course it is. You're figuring out the answers more quickly than any princess yet, said Flora. Now it's my turn, exclaimed Merryweather. Are you ready, Aurora? I think so, she replied. <clears throat> Merryweather cleared her throat. What only gets stronger the longer it lives? What pays you back tenfold the more that you give? Some say it's blind. Some say it's true. Some just say simply, I feel this for you. <laughs> Mary Weather giggled. Silly me, I almost said the answer. Well, let's see, said Aurora. Ah, it might be a tree. That gets stronger the longer it lives. I suppose you can say that a tree is blind, but so are bats. Aurora thought and thought. She was still thinking when Prince Philip walked by, leading his horse, Samson. Happy birthday, my love, he called with a big smile. Instantly, Aurora knew the answer to the riddle. Happily, Aurora hurried up to her mother's sewing room. I've solved the riddles, she announced. She took the pink rose from her hair and handed it to her mother. Then Aurora gave her a kiss on the cheek. Very good, declared the queen. And the answer to the third riddle? That's when the fairies brought in Prince Philip. It's love, said Aurora. Of course. The queen took the crown from her head and proudly placed it on Aurora's. That very afternoon, Aurora had her portrait painted, just like all the clever princesses who had come before her. In the evening, a grand birthday ball was held in Aurora's honor. Happy birthday, my darling, said her mother, and may you have many, many more. Aurora smiled at her mother. It had been a wonderful birthday. The End